good afternoon and uh, welcome uh, to all of you. Welcome to this uh, meeting of NATO defense uh, ministers. Let me start by warmly uh, welcoming Minister Resnikov and High Representative uh, Borel. Uh, welcome to both of you. Uh, it is almost uh, one year since Russia has launched uh, its full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. Uh, an illegal war of aggression which has brought uh, untold suffering to the people of Ukraine, shattered peace in Europe and affected people around the world through the food and energy uh, crisis. President Putin uh, made uh, two big strategic mistakes. He underestimated the strength and the bravery of the people of Ukraine and its armed forces and he underestimated the unity and resolve of NATO and uh, partners. NATO allies are providing unprecedented support to Ukraine to uh, help uphold its right of self-defense. And from the start, we have been working very closely with the European Union, determined to support Ukraine for as long as it takes. Today, we will uh, discuss our continued support, which is essential to help Ukraine prevail as an independent sovereign state and to uphold uh, the international rules-based uh, uh, order. Before uh, we start, let me convey on behalf of all allies our heartfelt uh, condolences to all the victims of the earth earthquake last uh, week. Allies are providing much needed support. We will now pause for a moment of silence in solidarity with our ally Turkey. So please rise. Thank you. This concludes the public part of the meeting. I thank the media for joining us at the top of the meeting. Then we continue um, uh, the discussions in just a moment.